Yeah, it is very hard to actually get these in, in shot because, well, they're very, very shiny. But this is going to be a drink review, or drink recommendation, drink review, I think is what I call this series, of Lohilo Functional Drink Strawberry Blonde. And it's another one of their collagen drinks. The other one, that was called Unicorn Tears. I thought at first it was the BCAA, because the site I bought it from advertised it as a BCAA. It wasn't, which was good, because BCA drinks tend to be disgusting. Oh yeah, this is the Strawberry Blonde. And, well, obviously strawberries, but... Jesus Christ. The white text on this background, I can't read it. Maybe because it's pretty... I'm only using natural light. Alright, well, I don't know what other flavor, I don't know what blonde, the blonde flavor is supposed to be. But just like the Unicorn Tears one, the cans look good. So, let's just fucking open it up and taste it, because this is like the least interesting parts of this video, right? It's the other shit that are kind of like the filler to these. Fuck. Well, this one was super, super filled. I don't know, well, I can't show you that, but it's filled all the way up. So as soon as you open it, so it's, a, it's filled a little bit too much. All right. Well, doesn't really smell like strawberries. You know what? It smells like strawberry gummies. That's what they smell. It's what that is what this one smells like. All right, let's taste it. Well, that's good. That is really good. Yeah, it's, it tastes like... Like a sweet strawberry candy. Artificial strawberry flavor. And it's good. There we go. I'm only gonna drink half the can today, the other half tomorrow. So, there you go. Out of their Lohilos Collagen brand, out of the two ones I've tasted, this is much better than the Unicorn Tears, but they're both good. I would recommend trying out both of them. So there we go. Now, two movies I've seen because there aren't really any comments kind of like Lazoo, Sweden has beautiful forests they do Sweden has even though it's pretty sad like I think 25% of the trees and all that or maybe I think it's 25 to 33% of all the trees and everything in near where I live have all been cut down in this last like five years or so Maybe even more than five years now, but a lot of it has been cut down. And they have built enough living space to increase our population, I think, by... I think 30%, 30 to 40%. So there's got this little... Whatever it is called... It's not a village. I don't know what the fuck you would call this. It's going to be pretty big. Alright. Now oh, here, tuck. Sucks when I live on the bottom floor though. People on the street will make eye contact. Well, let me just read everything. Uh, this was a comma change and it started with It went from pretty fast. It went pretty fast from nice nature images 
to abandon dolls in the forest and roadkill gore. Lemapau. Early to mid autumn is one of the nicest times to be outside. Maybe I should at least pull up my curtains this time of year? And I responded, you should. Natural life is, is a blessing, you know. I love natural light, how it looks and all that. That when it's just not too bright. I mean, I'm pretty lucky. I, I don't get much direct sunlight into my own room. Like, there is a little corner right there that gets a, like certain times of day, like for five hours, get direct sunlight, but not where I am. And that is where I grow stuff. So. And then he responded, sucks when I live on the bottom floor though. People on the street will make eye contact with me as I sit in front of the PC. I'll make sure not to blink to establish dominance. Oh god, I can't relate. I can't relate. Um, I've never li lived in a place where... Just having your windows open, people would be, where people just walk on the street, they would look in. So I don't know. Um, I can see, feel like, a, oh god, that would be so fucking embarrassing, I guess, in a sense. But then again, hey, you're in your own home, right? I don't know how it is in the law in Sweden, actually, because, for example, if you were to have your windows open and all that, and you started jerking off at your <laughs> your PC, and then people walk past, would you get in trouble? I don't know how it is in Sweden. So, Tuck, look that up. If you can't do it, if I can go, go, go for it, do it. Open it up, because why would you have to suffer from not having natural light, right? Because it's so beautiful. But then again, if you live in a place where there is a bottom, because now when I think about it, I have not seen any place where I live, other than, you know, within the bigger cities, where the bottom floor you can see into. Most of the times it's kind of like a bit above. So... But yeah, and also about that. The abandoned dolls weren't actually in the forest. They were uh, on the side of the road. Um, and all of those nature images are, you know... Well... <clears throat> they're by the side of the road and where you walk. I don't know, what are, what are they called? Places where just no people walk. Or in my case, roll. Um, and the rat... I don't know if the rat was actually road killed. Because it wasn't flat in real life. So I'm guessing it probably either died of natural causes or maybe a cat or a bird killed it. Or maybe other rats, I don't know. Um, so yeah, and that was all that from the comments. Now, what I actually wanted to talk about. Two movies. Jesus Christ, nine minutes into this fucking video. Uh, two movies I saw pretty recently. One was Star Wars The Last Jedi. And Into the Sp wait, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And yeah, the Spider-Man movie was pretty good actually. While The Last Jedi, I thought was pretty bad. It wasn't the worst Star Wars movie. Because I went into that movie because I knew that, oh, I've heard that this movie is super bad. But I still went into it pretty blind. I have not seen any of the fucking trailers. And I did not think I remembered as much from The Force Awakens as I did. Because, man, I've only watched The Force Awakens once with my mom and we both despised that movie. I've already talked about that movie before. How I feel like that was such a wasted opportunity. 
And this movie, I think, did a few things much better than The Force Awakens. At least this one actually felt, in certain places, kind of, yeah, this is pretty good. This could go an original way for Star Wars, you know, it could be something new. But then in the end, kind of, oh, it's just the same old bullshit <laughs> anyways. Um, anyways, let's talk about The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi. I like that Luke was disenfranchised, is this word, disenfranchised with the Jedi ways. He was like, man, fuck the Jedi, you know, I'm, fuck the Force. I don't want to be part of this, you know, I like that. But then in the end, he's like, ah, I was wrong. The, f the Force is good, you know, like the Jedi. No, fuck that shit. Fuck the Jedi, come on. I don't want that. Um, I mean, fuck the Jedi and the Sith. So first I'm going to say about things that I like. And also, it being completely destroyed immediately after I like it. There is a scene where Adam Driver's... Fuck, what is it called? I think Ben Solo, but I don't remember his Sith name. Anyways, Ben Solo... Even though I think his name should have been Ben Solo Organa. He should be having his mother's last name instead of Han Solo. And like, come on. You should have your mother's last name because your mother used to be a fucking princess and now she's a general. Also, that's one thing I also like. I like how Leia is not a princess anymore. Because, come on, Aldron is destroyed. Aldron doesn't exist. You know, kind of like, hey... What are you, a princess of nothing? So yeah, I like that she's no longer a princess. Um, but then at the end of the movie where they're like, oh, we pay our respect to Princess Leia. Ah, kind of, oh, fuck off. You should have just said Leia Organa, you know, instead of, don't say princess before. Anyways. I like a scene where he's, he's supposed to kill his own mother. And... He has the opportunity to do it. He has the opportunity to push, you know, shoot his rocket and blow up the ship she's on, you know, to become truly become dark side. But he doesn't do it. He's kind of like, he's about to do it, but then he doesn't. That's kind of oh, it shows us that uh, Ben Solo is not. I want to call him Evan Driver, but Ben Solo is not truly dark side. He's conflicted. He still has the light side in him. He's he's not a Sith nor a Jedi. That's great. And then I really love that his wingmen, they shoot the rockets and they blow up the ship anyways. And then his mother gets sucked up into space, you know, or whatever. They destroy the ship she's on anyways. They kill her. And oh, man, that was so good. that That he basically just ruined his own chance of truly becoming Sith by not killing his own mother that he hesitated and then kind of like oh man I failed Snook 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 again you know kind of like I did I didn't do it that was great but then immediately after Leia survives and she just fucking flies through space into another ship kind of like oh no that is so bad that destroyed Ben Solo. Come on. This whole new trilogy is... Don't argue. Uh, the new characters have nothing going for them. This was something they could have done to expand Ben. But then it was ruined just to get Leia to fly. What? Now that's stupid. So. That is something that could have given something to Ben Solo, but they ruined it. And that was pretty much the thing with, about this movie. Um, I don't want to talk about Finn, man. I l Finn was a character that I thought in Force Awakens has such a high potential if they would have gone the route that I would have wanted from him. The fact that he used to be a stormtrooper, there's... It would be so good if 
he, yeah, he used to be a stormtrooper. He's no longer a stormtrooper. He defected, but he refuses to hurt other stormtroopers because he knows that they're just fucking. They were, they were just like me, you know. But no. Uh, I hate that. So. Yeah, that was the last Jedi. A huge disappointment. Wasn't as bad as The Force Awakens. So I still think The Force Awakens is the worst Star Wars movie. And then I would probably say, at the top of my head, The Last Jedi. Which. Yeah, but I don't think The Last Jedi was that bad. I would probably, if I would have to give it a ranking or rating, I would say like a 3 out of 9. There you go. Well, The Force Awakens, I would give a 1 out of 9 since I was so bored during it. And another one, another movie I watched was Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And that was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. Uh, now, the only characters that I remember the names of was Spider-Man, you know. Uh, Peter Parker and Kingpin. Kingpin, yes, which was the main bad guy in the movie. All the other characters, I don't fucking remember their names. Um, but I did like um, the main character, who was the young Spider-Man. You know, the young, uh, the black kid. I liked him. He was a good. Um, and I fucking love how it looked. Man, this movie looked so, so good. And... Yeah, I don't really have much negative to say about the movie. It's kind of like... Yeah, it's a good movie. I would rate it like a 7 out of 9. 8 out of 9, probably. I hate superhero movies, so I'm gonna say it right now. I fucking hate superhero movies. I hate Star Wars as well, so I hate that stuff, but I really like this movie, so. Um, so there you go, that was my opinion. Alright, <laughs> goodbye guys. Sure, I don't know. My mom was trying to sign language something to me and I barely understood what she was trying to say. Um, so I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, I don't know what you're trying to get with that sign language. But, uh, fuck, where was I? Oh, damn it. I completely lost what I was talking about. But, yeah, I would recommend watching Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It was good. Um... Yeah, it was a good movie.